You don't need a laptop anymore. You don't even need a tablet. But why? Why would I say these things? Let's find out. Let's go. If you haven't figured out already, this video is going to be about Samsung DeX. And I've done so many videos on Samsung DeX that I've kind of lost count a little bit. But I've done a lot of videos on sort of how to use them, the ways you can use them, sort of different products you can use with Samsung DeX. But I haven't really covered the device that sort of powers it all, the phone. And with the S25 Ultra, we have a device here that is so purpose-built, I think, to take advantage of what Samsung DeX offers that it would be silly of me not to do a video about it. There's just too much power in here to ignore. The 8 Elite for Galaxy chip just gives you that extra edge that might sort of convince you that maybe you don't need a laptop or tablet. Let's take a look. In my time with the 8 Elite for Galaxy so far, the fluidity and performance that this phone has got from it is something I've never really thought I could experience on a Samsung before. I'm not saying that other phones weren't fluid or other phones didn't have performance. I'm saying that I didn't think Samsung could really match or sort of exceed iOS levels of fluidity and Apple-like performance, but I think they have with this. The thing is, all the stuff that I'm probably going to show you, you could do before. But I think what you can do now is you can do them more efficiently and you can do them at sort of a speed and effectiveness that we've not seen yet. So I kind of wanted to, or I, I do put it to the test quite a lot. I do a lot of video work. And for some of that, I do need specific programs like Premiere Pro and After Effects. So for that, I still kind of use my laptop, but I'm not joking. For anything else, I use Samsung DeX and I use some peripherals to sort of get the job done. But that doesn't mean I can't do video work on here. And you'll see why. To make this sort of challenge, I guess, a bit more of a reality, I used some help from today's sponsor, UPerfect, and you'll see couple of their products throughout this video that really help to sort of bring Samsung DeX to life. But first of all, I want to talk about traveling with Samsung DeX and with the S25 Ultra, because that was a huge advantage when I was in America for Unpacked. DeX is an ultimate travel tool because anywhere you've got a display, you've got a desktop environment that you can create just from your phone. Hotels, where I am right now, are an especially good example of that. You could turn your TV into a monitor for emails, workflows, thumbnail designs, and it's your phone that powers the entire experience. You're probably going to say to me, yeah, great. Any Samsung phone is capable of that. And you're right. Any Samsung phone at, that's a flagship can support Samsung DeX on TVs, for example. But the ceiling with the S25 Ultra is higher, particularly when you consider the new camera features that it's got. Uh, I spoke about all the new camera features last week with log video, especially. You've got more powerful performance and better quality that you're capturing. Also, in addition to that, 8K ultrawide, better HDR, plus all the other existing stuff that there is there already, you've got a very comprehensive, yes, capable phone when it comes to creative work. As I sort of mentioned earlier in the video, I filmed my son playing some football. He wanted to make a training video for his team this year. And I thought, why not? I'll use the phone to capture it. And I'll do a mix of log and HDR and See how we go. I did hook a microphone up to him, the one I'm wearing now, just so he could hear his voice from a distance, but doesn't block out background noise. That's still there. And I want to teach you how to do a training session at home. Before I even load it into something like Lum LumaFusion, I can just remove all of the background noise using Audio Eraser. And I want to teach you how to do a training session at home. And it's all working on the phone. So whether I'm doing it on decks, whether I'm holding it in my hand, that is very, very powerful. I also mentioned log before and how you can capture in that. Well, some of the clips for that, like I said, are shot with log. I talked about it with Samuel Nam last week, again, how important it is to capture with log. For the phone, to color grade all of this myself, you might need some more expensive software, but Samsung have thought of that. They've put color grading into the phone itself in the gallery. And again, you can do all of that with Samsung DeX on the bigger screen so you get the full effect. So then once the color grading is sort of all done, then you can start to edit it in LumaFusion. I use LumaFusion because it's optimized better for Samsung. I think that's a really good tool. So with all those sort of tools that the phone possess, all of the audio eraser stuff that I mentioned, you can pretty much go through your entire catalog of clips and just sort of edit them one by one, whether it's color correcting, whether it's erasing audio. And the phone is so powerful and the combination of using a bigger display to do it it's just amazing. But then once you've sort of got those clips sort of collated, 
bringing them into like an editing software, like LumaFusion, or even the Galaxy Studio that's on here, which can now do 4K, yay for that. It means that you've got yourself like a pretty much compact video editor that you can do social media videos. You can do short form content. That's really, really beneficial family vlogs. It's quite good. And the ability to edit it on the go, whether that be with your UPerfect laptop, which is great, or whether you're doing it in a hotel room on a TV, you've got the options there. I love the form factor of the perfect, the UPerfect laptop too, because you don't just get sort of the phone, which has everything on it, but you can then transform it into a laptop. And I know some people will say, get a laptop. And I understand that, but not everyone needs the power or performance of a laptop or the separation that a laptop sort of provides because you have stuff on here, stuff over there. Sometimes you just want it all on here and then tap into something a little bit bigger that you can take around with you. In saying that too, sometimes you do need that little bit more performance or you do need specialized sort of equipment. The good thing is you perfect today's sponsor doesn't just cater for things like decks as a platform. It gives you a display for everything. Uperfect sent me out the Delta Folding Monitor Dual Portable Display with a built-in VESA stand. This dual display features two full HD panels, 15.6 inches in size. I love connecting up to this because it turns my Windows PC into basically a triple monitor situation with the laptop screen and these two screens here, featuring two different inputs on the side, plus a HDMI port as well. It provides you with multiple settings options so you can actually connect more than one device and have different inputs and you can control that. But if you just wanna connect up to one laptop, you can actually have a triple screen setup all from the settings menu that it gives you with the buttons on the side. But because I'm fun, I had Dex running on the bottom and I had Windows running on the top and turned it into a proper productivity workstation. Uperfect have been kind enough to give us some discount codes for you guys to take advantage of. So look out in the description for those and thanks to Uperfect for sponsoring this video. The other part to Samsung Dex that I really like too is the fact that you can do presentations from Samsung Dex. So whether that be hosting a whole night of trivia just from your phone, USB-C plugged in, clicker plugged in because you don't have the Bluetooth S Pen anymore and then just let it do its thing. Like that is, that is a use case that if you don't, again, need a laptop, if you don't need a tablet that's sitting down here, you can get by with the power from this. Is Dex doing more than what it did before? Not really. The only big difference I've noticed with Dex so far is the fact that there's a new boot logo. Outside of that, it's, it functions better or functions more efficiently and more powerfully because of the chip. The other element too, and I, there's plenty of channels that sort of cover this, but Dex for some gaming, again, sensational option. Plugging your phone into a TV and having the games projected and maybe even a controller, again, just gives you another avenue to take advantage of what this phone can do. For all that people say that Samsung cost cuts and removes things, the thing is they're starting from a higher bar because they've had more than everyone else to begin with. So yes, Dex for PC has gone. Bluetooth S Pen, which kind of can be sort of linked to Dex a little bit, also gone. It's still, even though they get removed, keeps you above everyone else because you still have Dex in the traditional sense and you still have the S Pen for creativity. I, for one, I'm still glad that Dex is around in this format and you've got still got enough options to use it and it's now more powerful. Hit subscribe, take with benefits, plenty of Samsung content still to come. I'll see you guys in the next one. You.